Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a godly mythical, the newest one, in fact, in the game. This is my alt right here, but it is still fine. I do have them on my main, but I'm trying to AFK open right now. I'd rather not waste time. If I do have it on my alt, I'm going to be showcasing it on my alt. But here we are right here. We actually do have a few of them. I honestly almost forgot to do the video, but here we are. We do have a speed hunter right here, godly. We do have three of them, in fact. We're going to double ascension it, and we're going to get two good traits. Actually, you can't really get good traits, can you? Considering there is no new raid, you can't really get shards. So we have 65 premium medals to hopefully get something. But before we do that we're going to need to get him level 110 which is going to be the new level cap double ascension him get traits on him again we only have 65 rerolls for this you can't really get shards unless you get them from killing the boss which is pretty powerful for my account right now so we're not going to do anything right there what we are going to do is go to champion city we're going to try to get a genius on him i don't know why he keeps doing this i think it's because i have to update my computer but we are going to go over here we're going to roll on him we're going to go for a genius to start off with if we cannot get anything like that unfortunate we're going to go for giant leprechaun archmage black hole celestial assassin thief genius three sniper okay so all those should be fine so we're going for genius 3 or mythical or higher don't have the game pass maybe i should join my private server and gift myself this real quick so we'll make it go by a little faster so we'll do that right, so i joined myself on my main account i'm gonna give myself this i did make a video for this i don't know if i posted it yet or not i may do it later but it is definitely worth to buy this it goes so fast i literally spent 30 minutes and i spent all my shards all 10,000 of them and if you guys do not know it usually takes a lot more than that let's just say that well boom right there we just gifted myself multiple quirk i'm going to be doing a few game pass giveaways for this if you guys do want that make sure to join the discord hopefully you are lucky enough to get yourself this for free but now that we have this is gonna make rolling so much i mean so much faster three rerolls at once the main thing is it will take three shards so i don't know if it'll be weird and just like hey, where's the other guy oh, yet yeah. i wasn't spinning on this one was i but did i not spin a trait i definitely did all right yeah bro i'm getting scammed all right well i definitely did roll three times did i do that in a normal one or what i don't know we're rolling this guy right here he is my highest one 65 left I don't know how I don't have anything on there. But again, all the mythical celestial traits or genius three. Genius three will be insane for us. And when we start rolling, so it takes three, but would it give me it back if I, okay, yeah, I'm switching. I actually need that leprechaun. All right, we'll switch. thankfully we have other ones, but I actually do need that. But my question is, does it actually give you your shards back if you roll this? I don't know. It's taking three per roll. I don't know if it, like if I get it in the first one, would it give me two more back or it just takes them all? My luck is just terrible. Imagine I don't get anything and I can't showcase a normal unit. Okay, there we go. Genius 3 right there. I was about to say, am I not going to get anything? We're going to max him out right now because I think it increases the XP you need. Why is it doing this? I don't know. But I think it does increase the XP you do need. So we're going to max it out right now for the latest one. Uh, it's none of those. But here he is. So we're going to fuse this guy. We're also fusing mythicals except for the godly ones. You're going to throw on a luck boost and an XP boost. So luck boost xp boost boom so this will make it go by a lot faster hopefully and then we'll throw it on the luck team which i was saying earlier we didn't need that extra one right here so a leprechaun will definitely take it a little extra luck 84.8 now see Alright guys, and now officially we should have this guy level 110. So, there we go. Level 110 doing 9.6 million damage. Almost level 111, I'm not gonna lie. Next level is 110 though, so it's not so it's gonna do anything. But right there, 9.6 million damage base. We're about to increase this so much just with stats and double ascending it. We're not even gonna get the trait. The trait is what we're gonna do last. I wanna see how much I can get it to just by double ascending it and getting 
stats on him. So we already do have the replicas of him, so it is fine. We just go over to this stuff, and his name is Speed Hunter. Speed Hunter, we go to our strongest one, which is, uh, oh, never mind. We do have 2,000 of these. I made sure to stack up on these on both my accounts so I don't really have to ever do them again. Because I'm not really going to be using Mythicals too much. But right here, boom, double ascension, speed hunter. And now he is doing, it's the wrong one, 14 million damage on the dot. And now I'm about to increase it by so much. No, it's not. I can only go up 8% more damage. I'm not going to lie. I do have a lot of tokens though. So I can definitely reroll this till I get like SS or SSS everything. I'd rather get SSS before I start going for. So we're going to go for SSS. If we get an SS, we're going to roll it off for our first one. There we go. Look, our first SSS stat. Actually, the worst SSS stat to actually get is crit damage. I'm not gonna lie. I would roll it off, but it is an SSS stat, so there's not gonna be too much more rerolls anyway. It is really unfortunate to get it on crit damage because if you don't know, there is a possibility of a regular S stat already having 2.9x. You're only getting that. 0.1 times that's not too much so if you do get this and you're like you really want an SSS stat I would recommend rolling this one off I'm not gonna lie we did get SS on our damage you did want to max this out so maybe we roll this it is a 29.7 I should honestly just roll everything off yeah I'm gonna do everything don't get mad at me guys I'm not gonna lie but any SSS stat except for crit rate is reasonable to have so, SSS damage. Like, it was already worth it. And we got SS ability damage, which I'll actually take. That's fine. SS crit damage. Look, 2.9x. You can get an S stat with that. And then we got S speed. Okay, so I'll take that. I don't want to spend too many rerolls on a mythical, so we'll keep this. So we got SSS, S, 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 S. And it is an average stat of SS. And now his damage is at 15 million damage. I wasn't expecting to go too much higher, but 15 million damage is alright. It doesn't have anything on it. I do have ACS Slicer of Perfection, so we'll use that a little later when we do get a trait on him. So currently, we don't really have anything, so I'm just going to roll. We have five rerolls. Oh my god. Like, Loki, anything will be fine. Just like a damage trait. Like, if I can get if i can get damage one bro i'll take that shook strong dude perfect just anything if i get two traits that increases his damage it's fine all right and last reroll please tell me we get a damage okay sorcerer one i don't think sorcerer one increases the damage at all but right there this is the best we're getting i'm not gonna lie but right now he is doing 18 million damage and then we're gonna throw on the acs slicer a perfection right here that we do have throw it on him boom and now he is doing 31 million damage is actually not bad at all especially for having passes like this like strong two gives 90 percent damage this gives it deals it doesn't give extra damage it just deals 14 percent more damage so this is pretty good actually i did not know it was that much better so maybe a sorcerer 2 is actually better than a strong 2 i'm not gonna lie because this deals 19 percent wait so this counts as damage then 14 percent damage for this okay so maybe that is pretty good we're gonna go over to the end boss and try to showcase him there are you know we're gonna go to a different mob he shouldn't be too strong so wait doesn't he like oh yeah um maybe because Let's showcase it on this guy let's see oh yeah, yeah it's fine then all right so show my abilities we're gonna turn this on see his ability hopefully he does have a pretty cool ability so he does 46.5 million m1 damage i'm guessing that is crit no it's not 140 million damage crit god damn all right with his ultimate ability okay oh damn 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 what if he just comboed him? Does he go to his awakened state though? Like with his electricity? I don't know if you guys have ever watched Hunter x Hunter, but if you have, I think you know what I mean. But let's see if he actually, I don't know if he just got a lot more electricity on him or if he just like did his awakening thing. Oh, he did his awakening thing. As you can see, his hair is like all white and spiky now. I don't think it was like that before, was it? Yeah, so it wasn't. You can see it kind of. It looks like a mink from One Piece, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But he is a really strong unit. He's actually a lot stronger than I thought it would be, especially with these treats right here. It is mostly because of perfection, though. They finally fixed it where it actually adds up damage. If I unequipped it, 18 million damage. If you guys did not know before, they would basically just do it for the unit. Now it does it for the traits and the stats, stuff like that. It was just doing it for the unit before. So now it is really OP. I'll probably be using this on my main team when I get good traits on it. But you guys, it's gonna be it for this showcase. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.